All right, so there is a new sensor on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and some of you thinking, well, it's also got three sensors, or actually four sensors that we've seen before, and we've seen that on Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus line. But the time of flight sensor and all the new features make something quite unique on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is what this video will be about. This is not a full camera test. I'm not doing that because my buddy Marion Cell is on vacation, so we might not get to the Galaxy Note. Sorry guys. So I wanted to give you something that you actually get to see what this camera can do. And I got some help from a few friends to actually showcase uh, some of this for you. Before we get in guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let's dive into the camera. So as I mentioned, there's a time of flight sensor. What that brings to the table is live focus video. Uh, very few devices do that. Uh, the 855 processor supports it. The time of flight sensor adds to it and gives you something unique, different and fun. Samsung has four different bokeh modes to give you that bokeh background while you use it. And it's fun. So take a quick look. All right, so shooting a live focus video, you've got four options to switch from. There's blur. There's color point, there's kind of like massive blur background, and then there's like a 70s TV look. Each one is very different and gives you a very different look altogether. So I'm going to switch between each one. This is color point. Uh, so of course, I'm in color. Everything behind me is in black and white. Works pretty well. Um, when you move, it should move with you. So um, you, know, you get the idea of what it is. So this is big circle. Uh, this is the first one after blur. You can also move that slider to give it a very different look and feel and also gives you a good idea of what it actually sound looks like. And the glitch, I like glitch. Glitch is a nice one. It gives you that retro feel. Uh, it's also very windy here, but the Galaxy Note 10 mic is uh, 10, 10 plus mic also is really, really good. You should pick it up. But you get an idea of what that retro feel is like with this and um, but it does. Now, the other feature I do like on this device is the zoom in mic. And this is something that um, at least I know LG's had for a while. The V series has had that for quite a long time. And I'm glad Samsung is finally acknowledging putting this on here, especially even though Samsung mics are really good. I love the way the mic works. But the zoom in mic feature is easy to use. It's in the settings menu. It's, it's actually turned on, uh, but you can turn it off, uh, I believe. And uh, it just works by just selecting and zooming into the object you're, you're talking to. So but here's a quick uh, example of what the microphone from the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does. And also this is shown in 4K 60. You can see how stabilization works in the Note 10 Plus as well. So I'm testing out the zooming mic on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's very noisy, there's people honking, it's also windy up here, but it's, you, you will hear how clearly my voice gets to you, so I like that. There's also some drilling and construction, which all that is kind of drowned out because you can hear me precisely. So I like that with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's really good, plus shooting with a wide angle lens is nice. I can do this at my arm's length, um, and you guys get a good idea of what's going on, but it, it's pretty nice. It's a pretty solid microphone. I'm gonna walk closer to where most of that noise is coming from so you can hear it, uh, the noise, and also hear me. I'm actually going over hurdles right now. But uh, again, the zoom in mic is really, really good. Straight to the point and very clear. So let's go ahead and check out more features on this camera. A new feature on the camera has been added to the S Pen with air gestures. Being able to use the S Pen like a wand to navigate through the menu, left or right, taking images, which is something we had last year with the S Pen, is so easy. You press and swipe left or right, press and swipe left or right each time. Uh, you can zoom in or zoom out. So it is a nice feature and I think one uh, a lot of people use in large group settings. As I mentioned, I asked some friends to help me with some photos and my buddy Gadgets Boy and Super Saf uh, took some photos with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You can see the images that they've taken, they look really nice. The colors look good, yes it's in daylight. Gadgets Boy is a really good photographer anyway, so he does a really good job with this and it shows with this device how good, how crisp, uh, the photos are in daytime. We're going to try and share more photos for you to give you. But so far, images look good, and it's a really all. It's probably one of the best all-round balanced smartphone cameras. And I think that's what a lot of people tend to miss is that you know you have questions: who has the best video? 
I would say the iPhone, who has the best photo. I would say the P30, who has the best of both. To me, it's a Galaxy device. It may not be number one in both areas, but I think it brings the best if you need a camera that handles both at the same time. So those are my quick thoughts on the camera and showing you samples, features, all that fun stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Check out more of our Galaxy Note 10 videos. There'll be a lot of stuff for you guys to check out. Uh, we've got a full gaming video set, like kind of like a game review. Did some game more gaming on this bad boy, so stay tuned for that. Uh, some how-to stuff, and uh, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.